Welcome to an updated image of that familiar march of progress in human evolution. Except this time, it's not the road to Homo sapiens, but beyond, the road to Digisapiens. This is about the acceleration of digitalization and intelligence. In short, the transformative power of AI on all our lives and businesses worldwide. Dr. Jassim Haji welcomes it. He's the president of the International Group of Artificial Intelligence, which focuses on where AI can bring revolutionary change. So what industry, I asked him, is an example of where that revolution is happening? The industries that are uh, having a return on investment are mostly on finance and and an industry like oil, gas, aluminium, shipping, mm. because these people can see immediate return on investment rather than looking at, fortunately, education that it says, well, okay, what's happening in the next few generations? But let's not forget the health sector as well. That's very important. I think now any solutions you look at without an AI embedded in it, or most of it is going to fall behind because mm. uh, you always need an intelligence, you need the predictions and do the detection. So the entire collaboration is eminent and is required. But you don't also have a lot of time to start doing a research and development on those. So whatever is available through you, your partners, you have to use them. But you always have to leave a lot of rooms to be able to transform immediately. It's not like a normal uh, transformation of software that you can take it and say, well, I'll add to it. No, this is, you could be ready for next nine months to just chuck it away and come up with a new evolution within AI. I think you ran IT at Gulf Air for a number of years. Yeah. So take aviation as an example. How is AI and digitalization, how did you see that just transforming that industry? Well, I mean, if you look at the aviation, it's more about cost avoidance than making money. So sometimes you can't just make Shaving money. down those Shaving margins. Down, you know, because of uh, mostly delays, routes, because your fuel is a lot of your cost. Mm. So if you can get your routes managed smarter with AI, if you can avoid delays, if you can get the passengers on board quicker through different intelligences, if you can do the fixing and prediction of the maintenance, you know, in the industry such as airline and other industries, the preventive maintenance is written many years ago. So mm. people say, well, go out and do the maintenance on the engine, on the tires every three months, every six months. But nobody has been able to put the data together and say, well, instead of six months, let's do it every nine months. We can save a lot of money. Or we stop some of the incidents that may happen and we need for the next one year to do it every three months. So that's, that brings a lot as well. So it's that precision of analysis exactly, and that extra information yeah, and data. Yeah. What can a company like Huawei do to ease the burden on businesses to help that transition? Well, I mean, I was impressed already by what I've uh, seen today and how AI is integrated in every part of their business mm. and their strength. AI is coming maybe in the next year or two people will be focused on how smart the phones are rather than how efficient they are. Mm. That's, I think, is going to be very key to Huawei, and I think they are moving to the right direction. I've seen today in the keynotes, there is a lot of focus on the intelligence and, of course, the theme of it. And also, I, I guess, being specific to specific industries, making sure that the solutions we offer exactly. are much more adapted and targeted. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of the examples I've given you at the beginning. Yeah. I've seen, you know, most of them being presented here with how intelligence is providing the, the solution rather than just the solution may require intelligence. And that's, that's the, the change I've seen compared to, to last year. Just finally, I think I know the answer to this based on what you've been saying, but ever since the 60s, we've had this hope that AI was going to be the great new thing. It was going to transform everything. And we've gone through peaks and troughs of expectation and disillusionment. Are you confident that, no, 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 this really is going to transform everything? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, in the past, AI had two winters. The winters were people stopped investing in AI, say it wasn't yeah. worth it. But the difference at the time, it's always been that AI being tested in the labs and universities and theories. Today, the vast implementations of AI in the industry are non-reversible. So you can't take away uh, a culture, I would say a solution that you've given to your employees and your customers and say, well, 
we can't afford it and you know we have to stop there it's moving mm -hmm. you know there is no return back on it and as we are now there are a lot of industries that uh, unavoidably and, and when the generations are moving towards it whether even the, the the industry requires it or not so it's real embrace it don't ignore it no um, sometimes it's inflated a little bit that it's going to be that massive but it may not be that much maybe 10-15% less, mm -hmm. but that's being realistic, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen.